Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play EG. This is actually the second time I'm recording this because I goofed. So, let's go. EG, listen carefully now. This is Sector 3 where Elite Crotera is stationed. There's another powerful upgrade nearby that'll help you survive. We don't know if Crotera will choose to listen to you, but I don't have any backup plans till I've obtained more information. I know he's not the friendliest guy around, and it's going to be dangerous, but... Okay, got it. Get the upgrade, find Crotera. EG, are you sure you're okay now? If you don't want to do this... No, I'm fine. I can't run around being scared if we're going to save the world. <laughs> That's more like it. Are you going to trust me now? Yeah. I'll try harder to follow orders. Thanks, Dan. Don't mention it. Now, to find the upgrade in Crotera, you'll have to get to another building in this complex. Sector 3 is split up between this building and the next one. Head down to ground level and enter the first structure you see. Got it. And just my luck, I was going to have to purposely die to get a revive to finish the level the proper way. Or what I deemed to be the proper way anyway. So screwing up the other thing actually might have helped me out a bit. Oh, I also goofed. I th think I mentioned in the last video that to reset your stats, you hold down, press C five times, and then Z or X or something. It's duck C four times, Z once. Now, we can't get anywhere on the right. We're not strong enough to kick these doors down, and we don't have any points left to spend. So, we're going to go down. Crotera is right. I heard someone saying that Elite Crotera is obsessed with killing humans, and this would have never happened with Hell Sorry still alive. Give me a break. Crotera knows what he's talking about, and I don't see what these aliens have ever done for us. The human anomaly is the only proof we need that they're just as hostile and brutal as the Kamado. We shot their world to pieces, and people expect them to welcome us as heroes? We have to finish what we started if we want to survive in this place, and hasty action is better than death by far. Hail Elite Crotera. That. Make sure you take the lift down, do not fall, or you can get back up here. And unless you've got two to strength, you need to get back up here. Because both of those doors, you need a strength of two to open. Grab this really quick. Don't let him destroy the box. You can jump down and kill him first if you want. And we're going to come this way. I haven't put my point in the strength yet. Durr. Jump right over here. Kick. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, my buster gun for this guy. Because I like some. How is that not the coolest gun in the world? Alright, missiles this time. Duck. Kick. Oh, you jerks. Made me waste a missile. The D200 Deluxe Lift. Yes, the latest in the line of deluxe lifts will not only take you what to whatever vertical position you desire, it also comes with a number of irresistible features. The most popular addition is the integrated sound chip, which plays comfortable, enjoyable music during your daily lift rides, with such soothing classic symphonies as Insectmentalistus Go Crazy, Annihilating Infinity, and Welcome to Kiritako. Consumers will also be happy to learn that a minor insignificant bug in the previous lift model, uh, which randomly catapulted people to the ceiling, has hopefully been fixed. Kick. 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 I just do it because it's fun. As soon as it hits the lift, it explodes. Hi. Ignore those. Okay. You want to fall down here first. Read this. They're hiding something. Elite Crotera, along with the rest of our leaders, continues to deny any link between us and the humans. 
The close resemblance makes it obvious, though. I don't like where this is going. Jump. And here's our third ribbon. Huh. It's another ribbon. Mia, you silly. You must have carried lots of these when Dad was showing us around. Strange. Why do I keep thinking of you when I've got something so much more important to do? E.G., what are you doing? We don't have time to date right here. I, I was just thinking of someone. Hmm. Well, don't dawdle. Got it. Something tells me that this trail of crumbs won't leave me anywhere useful. But like a trail, it also feels like missing one of these would make me miss all the rest. And then I fear I'd forget about her. I gotta keep finding the ribbons. That is a clue that says if you ever miss one, you won't find any more. Alright, fall straight down. Go left and hold left. You'll grab that. Blitz. I've been saying blips. It's blitz. I am sorry. Whose bright idea was it to skip the infection check on one of our battle cruisers? The whole thing was crawling with blitz, and now they've spread across this human complex. And the best part about these parasites isn't that they drain your nano armor in mere pulse cycles. <laughs> oh no. These little creeps have to be invulnerable too. Some scientists say they're a miracle of technology. A self-evolved sentient life form consisting entirely of nano. I say I'm requesting a transfer from this place. If I find another one of those lethal little pests in my boot tomorrow. Doesn't it just suck when you're armed to the teeth, but the only way to outdo some little blobs is to run around and catch them in jars? Green guy gets my nano. He was supposed to die first. Well, he should die pretty quick here. And then I grab the nano and I run like crazy. Leave me alone! Now, not only are the Blitz awesome for dealing with little guys, big guy like that, no problem. Nothing is impervious to Blitz. Nothing I've found, anyway. Now, going left as opposed to going right not only gets you the funny little Blitz thing. I wish I could open that. But it gets you the Nano Boost. Ah, just the Revive one. It might screwed up recording, I ended up with the explosive shotgun, which was way cool. It turns your shotgun into a rocket launcher. Kinda. Okay, I'm not going to put any points into anything right now. I think these are more here to just tempt you into using points. Jerk. Yeah. Just trying to kick that turret at him. He shot me. Come on, baby. Roar. That was fun. Okay. Kick, shoot, duck. Shoot. I'm on a rocket. Bam. Bam. Yeah, I took a hit. I don't care. Hello. I'll take this. The Buster gun. 
My good person, have you ever considered a replacement? Yes, the army may have given you a standard old machine gun, may have even a rocket launcher if you were indeed so lucky. But what we have here is something quite different. Why, it's a shotgun that fires thrice as fast as the regular flavor. Presenting the Buster Gun, the cutting edge of yesterday's technology at an affordable budget price. This hastily cracked combination of a shotgun and machine gun may not look like much for the world and uses a questionable lot of ammunition, but in the right hands it may just be a lifesaver. We're not really sure. But look on the bright side. You'd rather be stuck in a planetary war with one of these by your side than a plaque of blitz. Brought to you by Redundant Technologies. Inventing yesterday, today. Redundant Technologies strongly discourages any attempt to crack your own nail gun and produce a sandal weapon yourself. Seriously, don't do it. Please. I did that better than I did it last time. Bam. Bam. This is what I was trying to get last time. I was trying to die so I could come back to there, but I couldn't do it. Because I screwed up. Ah, that's right, I have to keep that door. I need a strength of four, though. That's my goal. I need to get my crack level up to six, and my strength up to four. Alpha strike. I never thought I'd live to see an Alpha Strike. Sure, the one we used on this planet was just a taster of the real full force strike, but the kind of destructive force we wield now is insane. Sometimes I wonder if building bigger weapons every industrial cycle really counts as technological progress. Ha, <laughs> that's flawed logic. We'd never have been able to defend ourselves from the Kamado without the Alpha Strike, so who's complaining? Besides, stolen technology is always cheaper, and it's technically not on our conscience that way. Here's our armor upgrade. What you just assimilated was an armor upgrade. Now you take less damage from enemy nano weapons that damage your armor, like machine guns. It doesn't offer better protection against explosions and attack that deal instant health damage, however. So still be careful not to be hit by rockets. Forced apart. Dear Diary, this turn I was transferred to a different subsection of this human building. I have been moved all over the place, but I'm still not close enough to my girlfriend. It's hardly rare for girls as young as me joining the army, so it's not like they will treat me better than anyone else. It moved me to her defense post just because I want to. It looks like we'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives, so as long as I keep asking to change commander for personal reasons, I'll end up with my girlfriend sooner or later. I hope I'll get used to this battle suit before then. I can't see a thing through this helmet. That is kind of a hint that there's someone you want to leave alone. I'm just gonna leave them alone. Yeah. You stop that. You want rockets? I'll give you rockets. Alright, that's our max level for this sector. Those guys are new. Alright, we need crack first. Stranded. Damn it, me and my men were sent as a scout team to this planet, only to be shot down by the Taser. That's right, they're here. We found them at last, and here of all places. But all we can do now is hide from them. We're three people stuck in a Taser infested building with nothing but expired rations to eat, and with no means of contacting High Command. I'm totally not bitter at all. I'm trying to read the thing. Stop it. Stop ducking. Just stop it. Stop being stupid. Haha. Uh -huh. Come on, you honestly had to expect I was gonna do that. Alright, let's get crack up to six. Five, six. Put the rest of this into strength really quick. Need one more point to go into strength. But what's this? We don't have enough points. Time to act. We still haven't decided what to do since we arrived here. Do we hide until we starve to death? Or do we get out of here and kill as many lousy tasen as we can? It's not like there's anything better to do. And those damn leeches ain't gonna survive to colonize on any other planet, that's for sure. I've had enough of their way of killing everything they come across like they owned the galaxy. 
We want this. That is important. If you want to get the supercharge to get your strength up high enough, if you're playing the same way I'm playing, you kind of need that. So, let's just go ahead and do all of these. One and three. Get you spread rockets, which are awesome. One and five will get you the resonance reflector. And I believe I want three, no, five and six. Five and six. Get you the hyper pulse. <clears throat> I'll leave that guy alone. <laughs> I don't think the situation is as hopeless as the others say. Don't they remember what planet we've crashed on? I don't think it's a coincidence that we found them here. I rather think the Tazen would never expect us to come all the way here to look for them. And hey, we certainly didn't. But there's no way they can escape the Imperial Army now. Those low-life scum will regret ever messing with justice. So, Pulse Cannon is six. It goes, pew. Hyper Pulse is six twice. It goes, blam. And can break doors. Which is what you need it for. To break those doors. Well, that initial door. To get your supercharge. Take your supercharge. All the way back over here. The only thing left we have to find in this level is the poster. But you need strength of four to get it. And I will show you why. And hopefully I don't screw it up. Strength level four. Okay, we're done. We don't need to do anything else over here. Damn, I just confronted some kind of aliens I've never seen before. According to the logbooks nearby, they call themselves Kamado, and they were sent here, sent out as a scout party to the Earth, but were shot down by the Tazen. A Kamado scout team? I've read about that race in the cipher Tazen logbooks. The Kamado are an interplanetary peacekeeping force who specialize in dealing with the Tazen. Hmm. Well, we don't have time to wonder what they're doing here. You have to go talk to Crotera. The lift leading up to his room is up ahead, and it's only guarded by a single Tazen. Got it. Did I read this one? Advertisement. Bored? Tired of your neighbor? Tired of your boss? Tired of all those pesky Tazen infesting the universe? Well then, blow them all away with the latest nano weapon from Kamado Imperial Weapon Industries. Yes, the resonant detonator will happily blow away all your problems. Blow all your problems out the window with the press of a single button. Nothing in your close proximity is safe from the severe punishment you dish out with the resonance detonator's beautiful shockwave of secure, guaranteed, family-friendly death. Since it works by utilizing your own personal strength, it may be favored by powerhouses like Berserkers. But after a few weeks at the local gym, even the wimpiest of Kamado can unlock their favorite adversary flying through the air. Can knock their unfavorite adversary flying through the air. Order yours now for the low, low sum of 25,000 units. Kamado Imperial Weapon Industries cannot be held responsible for personal injury, technical problems, or being fired from work without blowing your boss up the window. For blowing your boss up the window. Man, I did that one much better last time. Anyway, up we go. You don't have to do this this way. We have no choice. The situation is getting unbearable. It's hard to keep a great face when we speak of the humans, and it's impossible getting the soldiers to understand that if a Kamado scout patrol finds us here, we have to kill them immediately before they can report back to their fleet. And that's why we need to stay alert and kill all resistance. After all, our lives depend on it. We can't take any chances with the humans, and so we don't know how powerful they can have really grown. I keep hearing reports of a human anomaly tearing through our troops like she's on fire. She is using nanotechnology, something we thought this low-tech race couldn't possibly have. If all humans we meet have the potential to be this mighty, we're in serious danger. I won't rest until every one of them is dead. Nothing must stand against the Tazen now that we're down on our knees, hiding from the Kamado and barely surviving. This is what Helsari would have wanted. The humans must be exterminated at all costs. Pathetic soldiers. What weaklings our troops are. I, I agree with Elite Crotera. 
We have not yet assessed the true danger of the human species. The hum human anomaly is a far bigger concern than the Kamado, as she seems intent on destroying us and nothing else. She's been moving in the same general direction for some time, but it's anyone's guess what her true motives and goals are. The only thing we know is that she is as sinister and cold-hearted as Elite Proterra tells us, killing our men at an extremely rapid pace. Our pathetic troops will obviously never be able to stand up to the Kamado if they find us here. All right, you don't have to do this this way. This is how I like to do it. Fire off a spread rocket. Make sure those windows get blown up. Kick the door down. This guy, we need down there. You only get one chance. You kick him twice, he dies. I don't want this guy to die. I like this guy. He's gonna help me get places. I need him to fire a missile. First try. My secret spot. While scouting around our little three-man base, I managed to open the window and climb out here. Nothing but an old guard tower out here, though. Decorated with some Tazen poster. Speaking of the Tazen, I read about some human anomaly in their logbooks. Better hurry back inside before she reaches our base. Open the door. And there's your poster. I did already unlock this one because I did a test play through the level. Just to make sure I could find everything. But there it is. And that's basically how you gotta get it. Thanks for the assistance, dude. Or dudette. Here's our exit and the way to Elite Proterra. What the... Who are you? Uh, I... My name's Eiji, and I have to speak to you about... You, you're that human anomaly. But wait, I'm just here to tell you that you should leave this planet. So many people have died, and, and we don't even know why. Don't expect me to waste my time with some worthless human when the future of the Tazen race is at stake. We're down to our very last colony, and I have no qualms with annihilating whatever's standing on the face of Origin. What do you mean, Origin? This is the Earth. We live here. And you just come here and try and kill us all. We haven't done anything wrong, so just... just... just leave. Silence. You know nothing of the Tazen, and you know nothing of the damned Kamado. If this is our last chance to escape total extermination by their hands, we're not going anywhere. What are a few human lives compared to a million Tazen? Do you intend to murder all of us to save a handful of your own kind, you over-violent lunatic? But, shut up. This planet is ours now, so we rule it as we see fit. You should be thankful that yours is the last civilization to ever fall for us. Now die. Welcome to your first boss fight. There's tons of health all over the place. You should be totally fine. I like using spread rockets because they hurt, but I'm out. You can kick the turrets into him if you want. That's kind of fun. Don't get hit by the blue thing. Blue thing hurts. Sorry. You'd kill so many to save so few. Uh, I, I'm not. I could say the same thing about you. E.G., it's Dan. Looks like it didn't go very well. Oh, no. Crotera said something about these Tazen be being their last colony, and they came here to escape the Kamado. It looks like the Tazen are on the run from them, and they don't even care how many people they kill on the way. He said that the Tazen have ruined entire civilizations. Hmm. So that must be it. Like I said before, from what I deciphered from old Tazen logs, the Kamado advertise themselves as a peacekeeping force. Maybe they're some sort of space police, and now there's no doubt that the Tazen are rotten to the core. I have an idea that just might work. Really? I thought you said this was our last chance. No, don't worry. We won't give up yet. There's a Tazen communication area nearby. 
if I've inset, inter, interpreted the most recent information on the Kamado correctly, I know the code to send a distress call to one of their spaceships. With any luck, the Kamado will come down here and wipe out the Tazen for us. Uh, whoa, is that safe? I mean, another alien race coming down here? Well, that's why I was holding this back from you before. I didn't want to worry you. If anyone can take on the Tazen, though, it's the Kamado. We have to give it a try. After all, we won't get any farther further ourselves. I guess you're right. Okay, lead the way. Thus ends Sector 3. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Carry on.